In this video, I'm going to explain how you can set up and use the Mini Extensions portal. So the goal of the portal is to give you the ability to share records with people outside of your Airtable base. And um, when you share those records, the portal will only allow those users to view the records that belong to them. So in other words, let's say I have um, my vendor Dime here, right? And let's say I have a portal for the vendors to log into to see their furniture, right? So they log in, and they're able to see furniture from the furniture table. What the portal gives the ability to do is they would only see the furniture that they are linked to. So, you know, the Dime logs in, Dime would see the furniture here, but they would not be able to see the furniture that belongs to other people. So it's essentially the ability to have user authentication with, you know, limited access to who, see, who, who sees which records based on whether or not they are linked to them in Airtable. So in any case, let's go ahead and set up a portal here. So the first thing you will need to set up a portal is a user's table. If you do not currently have one, you'll need to create one. The user's table is a table where each record in this table is a user who would log into the portal. And you get to essentially show those users once they log in any records and other tables that they're linked to. So in order to do that, let's do that second part. The second part is which tables would you like users to see after they log in? So in my case, it's gonna be furniture and vendor contacts. So to be clear, those are the other tables in the base. And what this means is when my vendor logs in, they'll be able to see those records here and those records here. So let's go ahead and create that portal. So the first step I will do is to add login fields. So I will use my email and pin field. And these can these login fields are up to you. You know, there can be one field, multiple fields, fully up to you. And in my case, I just created an email and a pin so that the users can have an easy way of um, logging into those portals. So let's go ahead and open up the portal. So I will, I will grab the email here and I will start logging in. And one additional note is that you can fully customize this login page and add a lot more stuff to it. So let's go ahead and log in. So once logged in, you will see the records that belong to that user that you logged in with. So in my case, I logged in with the Dime record. So you'll see that the records we're looking at there match only the records that are seen in this cell right here. So Madrid chair, Nebula chair, et cetera. We stop at that last chair right there. Cool. And then if you switch between those tables, you can see that the other record sales contact is seen here as well and the user has the ability to click on those records to edit them. Now, in terms of editing, you might only want to have the ability to edit some fields and not others. You can do that. So you can disable editing. You could set those fields to read only to disable editing in them. Now, you might also even wanna just fully not allow users to edit any of the records. In that case, you would just set all the fields in your form to read only, and then you know the person cannot make any changes to those fields, and it is just a an experience where the user can log into the portal, see records, but not edit them. All of this is fully customizable. There's a lot to do. And um, one additional thing to mention here is that within your portal, you can also give the users the ability to create new records. Um, again, fully optional. You can enable it or disable it. Last thing I wanted to discuss here is the profile feature. The profile shows you the record that you logged in with. So, you know, the records that you're looking at right here in front of you right now, is the dime record that we were looking at in Airtable. And you can allow users to edit this record or just make it fully read only. So as you notice here, by default, it's fully read only. So the person cannot make changes to those things, but you can allow them, you can just go into the, um, the profile feature and allow them to change any specific fields you'd like to. The last thing I wanted to show is what happens when somebody creates a record on the portal. So because the person is already logged in, we automatically link this record to the person who's logged in when it gets created. So let me just create a, a, a test record here. You'll see that it shows up in my portal, right? I only see records in my portal that are linked to me. So let me go see this in Airtable. You view the record, you see that it automatically got linked to the person who was logged in when they created the record. So it just gives you the ability to automatically associate every record that's created in your portal with the users who are actually logged in.